Hey Aries, this is your love reading for January 2020. Keep in mind it is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, rising or Venus signs. So starting out, I feel for Aries, there's this energy of an emotional awakening and it could be spiritual and emotional. But what I'm feeling is you're breaking ties with the past or the norm. And what I was sensing as well with ancestors, I feel as though this is where you've been. This is like tried and true, what's familiar, what's safe, uh, perhaps what you've been with for quite some time. So for some of you, you could be moving away from a connection or relationship that had some longevity that you may have had foundations with in order to try different things, meet new people. For some of you, I'm hearing this person and soulmate coming in is completely different to what you've attracted in the past. There's this energy. I don't know if they're rebellious, but at the very least, I feel like they're very free spirited and they satisfy your need and desire for movement and pos positive progress, creativity. It's almost like they ignite you or you both spark off each other. For some of you where in the past you used to date your opposite, I feel as though this new connection is this person is very similar to you. There's some sort of similarity in what you want from life or how you move through life. I also feel as though this person may love traveling, maybe some sort of creative or someone with a, I want to say a more free lifestyle, whatever that means. There's a sense of perhaps they may have more of an alternative lifestyle. They might be very spiritually inclined. I just am hearing that this person is completely different to what you're used to. Now, for some of you, this seven of emotions, I feel as though you may have multiple options. And I just realized we have seven, seven, seven. And I see that as a very divine number. And it's also a number of spiritual alignment. So with this ace of emotions and awakening, I feel for some of you, you've gone through some sort of shift or spirit become aware of some sort of spiritual truth that has triggered a shift in your emotions. It may have changed how you felt about someone or something and led you on a new path or new direction as it pertains to love and the quality of partnership you attract. But there's been some sort of awakening to yourself and also what you desire from life. This is an energy of a spiritual shift that leads you to move, whether that's moving away from certain conditions of the past and your history or just moving in general, travel. I just see Aries going through a lot of shifts spiritually and it's completely changing what you desire, especially in love. Now, the Muse of I Am is my card for self-love, empowerment, feeling beautiful in your own skin. For some of you, you may be shedding certain relationships or past beliefs and habits that left you feeling small or didn't allow you to step into your beauty and your abundance. And that's where this shift is really taking place. But I do see many of you kind of breaking away from this devil energy. Not allowing the past limitation, fear and doubt to hold you back. It may almost be some sort of spiritual shift or awakening that finally gave you that strength and that courage to let go of perhaps what you were familiar with or what was comfortable, but what was always or potentially creating stagnation. Because after the devil, we have this knight of voices or the knight of swords. So we see you moving really rapidly in a new direction. And I'm also hearing your dreams taking flight. So for some of you, you may really be honoring that call of your spirit and your soul rather than what feels familiar and what feels safe. And that's where this blessing is. And with this seven of emotions, for some of you, I feel like either you've left a somewhat of a difficult or toxic relationship in the past, or you're in that process and journey, and you're now witnessing or seeing how many options are available to you. I do feel for some of you, you may have more than one option in love, but I do feel the energy of a particular soulmate that I was describing earlier. For others of you, I feel like these are options in terms of where do I want to live? What do I want to do? Do I want to go traveling? Like you're oscillating or going back and forth in terms of all that you can do. And here you're showing up with this page of emotions. So I do feel someone may make an emotional offer to you or just express how they're feeling. This could also be you. You're moving from a time where you may have felt restricted or in a really low or negative vibration to a time where your heart is illuminated. Your energy is bright. You know what you desire. And I do think for some of you, 
there's that inkling or that intuitive knowing in terms of where you want to invest. Where do you want to build something? What what do you want to manifest into your life? And what do you need to change and do in order to receive this? Now, again, I do feel this soulmate love around you. And I do feel it's almost like these are kindred spirits who are actually very similar, but they play together. They love to explore. They're both perhaps very free with their emotion and their joy and their passion. You could literally be attracting another Aries or someone that's got a lot of fire and there's that sense of kindred spirits. Now, this is my card as well of boundaries, pushing certain people or conditions out of the way so you can focus on your star and your dreams. In the past with this devil energy, you may have felt stuck somewhere or with someone and it prevented from you it prevented you from fully acting on your dreams and your desires. It's almost like you were you were stuck or held in place and you didn't have the freedom to explore or do the things that you've always wanted. And that's what's that's the shift that has come in for you. Because I do see a lot of movement and a lot of change. And it's almost as though on this journey and moving in a new direction, that's when you meet this soulmate. For others of you with the ace of emotions and the page of emotions, this is someone you already have in mind or they have you in mind. You could also, for those of you who have come out of something toxic, you may be apprehensive, I'm hearing, to get in a relationship and feel that stuck energy again. For most of you, I don't feel the problem is with commitment. The issue seems to be with not wanting to be so comfortable or stagnant that it slows down your dreams and your ambitions. And that's why I think you're either this soulmate has already come in or it will be, and it's someone that wants to explore with you. And take risks. So with this Ace of Emotions, we have the Princess of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, this is my card of someone watching. Either you may have your eye on someone, they may have their eye on you. And I do feel it's like a stroke of luck that you've met this person. I think both of you will feel very blessed. And straight away, there is that sense that you're very similar. You understand each other. So your spiritual awakening, I feel has called in this soulmate and this soul contract. And what I'm hearing as well is you're now at a, a level of vibration that's in sync with them. And that's why this union and connection can come into place. You may also be desiring moving from the past and something that did leave you feeling stuck or held back towards a connection and relationship that's more spiritually inclined. So with this muse of I am, for some of you, you may almost feel conflict between embracing yourself, having all this freedom, this space, the ability to create anything you want and love and perhaps multiple people, uh, I want to say vying for your attention. So there may almost be this discrepancy between wanting autonomy and wanting to remain single versus allowing others in or being receptive to their energy and their vibration. It's kind of that inner battle in terms of do I just want to give to myself or do I want to potentially give to another because I also see you really going after your dreams or at the very least really wanting to manifest a life that's in alignment with what you've hoped for and perhaps dreams that have been put on the back burner or you had certain responsibilities or connections that led you to have to sacrifice them to some degree but again, I think you've moved away from that to step into your own power and with this aid of disc to extend the effort and work to create a life that you truly love. Okay, so next to that devil, we have the four of disc and the prince of cups. So again, leaving behind something that yes was stable but was almost stagnant or so comfortable that there was no forward momentum or progress in order to share and give your love elsewhere. Whether that's sharing your love in the world with what you're creating and manifesting or whether that's with a new connection and partnership. But overall, I do feel there's some sort of ending here and then there's this period of healing, spiritual growth. I want to use the word recalibration and it's also reconsidering where your priorities lay. 
I think that ending put you in touch with your soul and your spirit and what you truly want, whether you decided to close it out or they did, or whether uh, the divine intervened and pulled that relationship apart. There's this sense of you giving birth to new, new conditions and you manifesting and having this partner come in that very much is in sync with that vision. Okay, and as we see here, the Knight of Voices and the Fast Movement is clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups, closing out something that was difficult, painful, toxic for new love, new love, and I mean love for self or greater love for self, love for what you do in the world, and also I feel love for another. And we see this here, we have your energy as well, the full turning your back on the past so you can have a fresh start because it's been spiritually and intuitively guided and focusing on yourself, being single, being abundant, and then potentially calling or meeting this other soulmate. They could be an earth sign or someone with earth prominent, but it doesn't have to be. As I say that, out comes the Hierophant. So again, you could be connecting with someone that has Taurus quite prominent in their chart, but it doesn't have to be. But again, out of these options, I'm hearing one has the potential for something long term. If you are interested in being married, that could be what you're looking at. Or it could just be someone that's very committed and loyal. Someone that can meet you on your level, I feel. But again, this is the type of commitment that doesn't leave you feeling stuck. So I think for most of you, it's not that you're against, I feel too many cards, against a relationship and a commitment, but you don't want to perhaps fall prey or fall into the trap of staying with someone because it's safe or tolerating certain uh, negative or toxic behavioral patterns because it's familiar. Beautiful. And we see you, again, breaking out of limitation. This is what I see Aries moving away from. Eight of Swords type energy, feeling stuck to freedom in terms of what you love to do, how you can share and express yourself with another. Uh, perhaps there's freedom coming in terms of how you generate a an income and money. I see a lot of changes. Yeah, so the seven of materials is clarified by the moon and the nine of wands. And how I'm reading this is I feel as though you're unwilling to act on any connection or bond until you know really clearly what you're working with. Because in the past, I feel like you may have fought for something or put a lot of effort towards a particular relationship and it didn't serve you. Perhaps you weren't seeing them in the fullness of who they are. They could be manipulative or dishonest or there was some aspect of them that that ties into that devil energy that was toxic or it could just be that they weren't at all compatible for you. And that's why I think you may be very cautious moving ahead and you may almost want to be in this energy of connecting with others, having fun, exploring, trying new hobbies, traveling. Beautiful. And we see from the disappointment of the past and having these cups fall down, we have a true union, a true emotional connection, a soulmate, someone that you can potentially build with or have something with. You may very well meet this person while you're out exploring or socializing. I see it more in a perhaps a group environment than singular, but I do think there's a really beautiful relationship coming towards you. If it hasn't already, because starting with this card, I do feel a sense that most of you have already been triggered or inspired by someone or something. Okay, so we're finishing on the seven of inspiration. We have death and the king of cups. 
So for some of you, this could also be a water sign or someone that has water prominent in their chart. But I feel as though you've had an ending here and a closure. You've gone through this transformation. For some of you, I feel like you may still be going through this process of transformation and healing. And that's created this opportunity to attract a love that's not only emotionally nourishing, but stable in a way that gives you freedom. So that's all I have for you, Aries. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.